Hello and welcome guys, this is uh, Dhruv from Mission Possible Poker and before I start uh, today's exercise, I would like to show you how I uh, approach uh, the preflop game at Port Limit Omaha using uh, Vision Solver and uh, if, if you've seen the past couple of episodes, you've seen me open the, put the under the gun and the MPC and uh, while uh, checking out those uh, spots are really important to see what you open. It's also really important to see how you you play that seat in general. So what I do is, if we take uh, MP as an example, uh, I'll first check what hands uh, MP is opening. Then I'll move on to what happens when uh, the first seat, that's uh, the under the gun seat, when that opens, what does MP do? Does it uh, cold call? That's what I mean by CC. Or does it re-raise for pot? That's 3-bet. Uh, and then what does MP do when it's 3-bet uh, by uh, the cutoff, the button, the small blind, and uh, the big blind? Uh, I believe uh, there are more combinations uh, possible, uh, especially when it comes to uh, squeezing and, and three-way. We will certainly delve uh, deeper into that. But for the purpose of this video, I think... Uh, if you have a, a membership on uh, Vision, which I certainly would recommend if you're a serious uh, mid-stakes uh, pot limit Omaha player, uh, I would recommend that you try out all of these positions to get a, a good uh, general understanding of what uh, a GTO game plan is. Uh, GTO is extremely wide in its uh, approach. Uh, and by wide, I mean there's just so much to learn if, if you're trying to get uh, GTO in your game. And uh, it obviously doesn't uh, stop with this exercise. I believe you have to keep repeating it day in, day out. My personal approach is uh, to do a couple of exercises every single day. Uh, you know, some days I'm able to push myself more. I get about 300 hands. Some days, you know, maybe not so much, so just one exercise, but I try and average uh, two exercises a day. And uh, trust me on this, guys, if if you do this, it will really benefit uh, your, your game. So uh, without uh, further ado, let's move on to the next seed, which is uh, uh, the cutoff seed. Uh, the cutoff seed is something I'm studying right now uh, on my own aside from the video. So I don't mind uh, doing another uh, quiz. So when you pull down uh, this, this menu, let me just give you a brief uh, idea about what you have in there. So we have the RFI, which is the race first in, uh, as I explained in prior videos. Uh, that happens when no one's opened and you're the first person who, first person who is actually raising a preflop or putting money in uh, preflop to be more precise. You can obviously do that from the under the gun seat, the MP seat, the cutoff seat, the button seat, and uh, the small blind seat. You can also do that from the big blind seat when uh, you know the small blind limps uh, to you. Uh, then we have the cold call or the three bet ranges. This discusses all uh, situations I was talking about. Uh, then you have the versus three bet, which means uh, when you raise and you get re-raised, what do you do with certain combos? Uh, then we have the squeeze situations, which involve uh, more than one person. So essentially, uh, the gist of a squeeze is uh, someone opens, another person calls, and uh, another person re-raises. So when there is a re-raise, or let's call that a raise actually, when two people have already put in money uh, pre-flop, or on the flop or on the turn. It's called a, a squeeze. Uh, and since we're talking primarily about uh, pre-flop, uh, you should also know that when three people limp, that is from the under the gun seat, uh, the MP seat, and the cutoff seat, and the button decides to pot, that also is uh, technically defined as a squeeze. Uh, then you have multiple squeeze positions, and then you have uh, the four bed pots. Right, uh, I think we'll move on to the actual exercise, which is the RFI from uh, the cutoff. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get this one.
Um, we just quickly set these uh, to, to zero. This was from the last exercise I did. And we'll begin with a fold. It's correct. Uh, this one should be an open, I believe. Uh, this one's uh, not even close. This one should be a fold. And it is indeed a range fold. Uh, if this had the ASI suit, I would have opened. Uh, but the rainbow and the ones uh, suited to the six should be folds. It's correct. We'll take the point. And... Uh, and an interesting thing to note is that when you have uh, the ace six of the same suit and a pair of threes, it's a fold. And when you have uh, the ace three of the same suit along with a pair of threes, then it is uh, an, an open. Moving on, um, this one's close. But I think I'll go ahead and open. That's wrong. It is a fold. And it's only open when it's double suited. This one's a fold. Oh, this one's very close. But this was certainly a fold in the under the guns, uh, in the MP seat, as far as I remember. I mean, I think the hand we were discussing was the 9855, which is obviously a weaker hand than this. So I believe this can go ahead and open. It's still a fold. And if we give, uh, if we turn the 5 into a 6, you will see that even single suited combinations when uh, it's uh, suited to the 9 will be open. Right, moving on, this one's going to be a fold. Not really off to a flyer, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this one's a fold, I believe, for triple suited reasons. And the ASI is an open. Uh, this one's really close. I think I'll open though. Jack 10 is really important and really powerful in Piero. This one's a fold. Fold as well. Uh, this one's close, but I'll still fold. And obviously, if this hand is fold, it's a range fold. I mean, if King Deuce and 6 5 suited are folds, uh, then uh, it's a range fold. Uh, moving on, this one's a fold as well. Open double suited kings, and those will certainly be opened. Uh, this one's close. I think I'll fold, but uh, the answer is raise. Let's check it out. Any ace triple suited is an open, so which means uh, our hand will certainly be an open because it's uh, triple suited to the ace. Here it is. Fold. I'll open. Definitely opening. Fold, fold, range fold, yeah. Uh, we just started this. This is a fold and the ace three suited is an open. Uh, this one is a fold. Yeah, a range fold. For sure, an open. Uh, even rainbow ones are open. Yeah. Definitely a range fold. Range fold again. Range fold. Hi. Uh, this one's a range fold as well. The deuce really hurts our hand. Uh, this one's close. Uh, with a gap in the middle, but I think the double suited ones will be opens and this should probably be a fold. 
yeah uh, moving on this one's a fold yeah uh, this one's close I think if this were mean suited to the if this were a uh, double suited it would certainly be an open the eight high suit is a hand I would fold but maybe the queen high is an open it's correct and uh, only double suits are opens open fold for sure obviously a fold fold are definitely a fold I think range fold for this one uh, double suit of this might be an open and it is indeed fold way too disconnected fold uh, this one is probably an open yeah oh wow it's uh, an open except when it's it's a uh, rainbow uh, this one's an open yeah uh, this one is Close, but I'll fold. I think the double suited ones might be open, and indeed they are. Fold. So I remember Jack Jack uh, 3 5 single suited was a fold, so this should be a fold as well. Yeah, we did that in the beginning of uh, this exercise. This will be an open. Uh, this one's not a great hand. Uh, there is the Jack-10, of course. But I believe uh, this will be an open when it's uh, double suited, not when it's uh, single suited. So I'm going to click on fold. But it is still an open. Although, it's an open when it's with the king high suit and not an open when it's the 10 high suit. Uh, and let's say for the jack high suit and indeed uh, jack high suit supports as well but not uh, a biggie uh, this one's a fold two disconnected and rainbow open open fold I'm sorry I think I clicked uh, somewhere uh, by by mistake I would have clicked uh, fold anyway, so I'll take that point. Uh, yeah, so this one's an open when it's uh, single suited to the ace, and obviously double suited. The others are fold. Oh, this one's an open for sure. I think rainbow, this will also be an open. Yeah. Fold. Uh, this one's close, but since it, we did not open the queen jack 10 5, I believe this will be a fold as well. My apologies, the king jack 10 5 was an open, but it was on the cusp. So the queen, the king queen 10 3, which is worse than that, should be a fold. So that's the logic I would use. With my prior knowledge of what the solver does in a similar situation. Uh, this one's a fold, way too disconnected. Yeah, double suited should be a fold as well. This will be an open, although I'm not sure what uh, rainbow ones do. I believe rainbow ones will be folded. And so are triple suits. This one's a fold. Fold again. Fold again. I'll open. Close, but I'll open. I think with the nine high suit, I would fold, and that's indeed correct. I'm not sure if I took the point for this, but we'll move on to the next one. This one's a fold. This one's an open. Fold. Uh, this one's a fold, but with the ace high suit, it's obviously an open. And I believe so it is uh, with the 10 high suit. Uh, so it's definitely an open. Great hand. 
fold fold again fold double solo this should be an open and indeed it is fold fold because of the queen high suit and i believe it's a way to disconnect it maybe double suited yes indeed it's an open the rest are just folds open rainbow i don't know if this hand is an open and it's not it could be in a fold so guys again i'm not sure if i took the point for this but i'll make sure i take the point first and discuss the hand later because you know our scores are fairly important uh i mean i'll open Old range. Yeah. Uh, this one is probably an open. It's a fold. Only double suits are open. It's all right. Um, I mean, this one's close. I think this would have been a fold in MP, but I'll be raising from here. Uh, close again. I guess I'll open. No, it's a fold. Single suited, it is an open. All right. This one's a fold. Oh, I, I would have opened that. I, I would have opened. We did something similar in the beginning. I would have opened that. I shall cheat and take one point. Oh, this one's an open as well. Fold. That was a misclick, guys. I clicked uh, way too quickly. Uh, this one's an open. Uh, this one's a fold. A fold, yeah. Maybe uh, with the queen high suit, it is an open. But seems like even this is a fold. Fold. I think we'll have the best score yet on uh, the channel. Uh, this one's close. I will open. It's correct. Open. It's correct. Fold. Is correct again again so uh, we reach uh, 94 out of 100 guys uh, and uh, you know I'm really really happy uh, we could uh, reach this score uh, today's uh, episode is uh, primarily in English for the benefit uh, of our international viewers of which there are uh, many I get a lot of comments from people who are from outside of India are uh, they very encouraging and uh, you know, it feels really nice uh, when someone appreciates the work you're putting in. Uh, and before we end, let's just uh, discuss the range graph. It says that we open 30% and we fold uh, 70%. Uh, f as you will recall, when we were in under the gun, this number was 18. Uh, as we moved from the under the gun seat to the MP seat, that number became 22. And that number is 30 now. So I believe what happens is uh, when you move to later positions, you expand uh, the, the structure of your hand a little. So what I mean is, let's say if you were only playing uh, ace, jack, ten, deuces in the beginning, maybe you can now play hands that are a little weaker from uh, cutoff. Maybe a hand like ace, nine, eight, deuce. But it also means that the hands that were strong in structure and the bad suits weren't being played, those suits will now be played from later positions. So if you had the ace, jack, ten, deuce with uh, the jack high suit, that would probably not be an open from under the gun. But when you get to uh, the cutoff seat, ace, jack, ten, deuce with the jack high suit which will be found here 
will be an open as you can see in uh, the the example that's uh, uh, the second out of 72 possible combinations so guys i hope you've really uh, enjoyed uh, this episode and i hope i hope you certainly have learned a lot so until we meet uh, next time this is through for uh, mission possible poker ciao